Can you be saved and remain stupid? You can be saved and stupid. Tweet that. You can be saved and stupid. Yes, you can. You can be saved and stupid. You can be saved and remain stupid. You can be saved and do stupid things. Remember, you are not saved by what you know. You are saved by who you know. Now, is there some what to the who? Sure. In other words, the what to the who is that he is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You are saved by knowing that he's Lord and placing your faith in Christ. And you grow in who you know by what you know. You spend time in the word. You can be saved and stupid. You can be saved and know not to do something and do it anyway. You can be saved and think, I'll get away with it this time. You can be saved and be and have some fleshly tendencies. How do I know? Exhibit A, Paul. But your desire has to be different. If your desire is to sin, if you have a will, a wish to sin and to live in sin, now we've got a problem. If there's no struggle, if your desire is to be away from that, but you still struggle, well then, okay, we can work with that. But if your desire is to do just that and to still be a Christian, in other words, I want to be a lustful Christian. I want to be a murdering Christian. I want to be a lying Christian, a stealing Christian, a homosexual Christian then you cannot be. And so, yeah, you can be saved and stupid, but if you grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord, you won't be stupid all that long. Amen.